All right. Well, I want to welcome you all to the first community meeting of 2022. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to be here today and to provide your input as uh, we are diving into the planning for Open Ed 2022. Sorry, that someone's trying to call me. Um, so my name is Susan Payne. I am a K-12 education specialist at the Oregon Department of Education and one of 12 members of the Open Education Conference Board of Directors. Several of us are going to be sharing the facilitation of today's meeting and a few others are here listening as well. They'll introduce themselves in just a minute. So we're gonna use Mentimeter today. And so I wanna give um, just a minute to, get, to let folks get set up with this tool. Uh, if you haven't used it before, it's a it's a good idea um, to either use like a different browser or a different device like your phone or a tablet. And you have a few options for how to how to join. Obviously, you can use the QR code that's there on the slide. Um, you can also go to menti.com and type in the code that's there on the slide. Um, the code is 17613520. Uh, and you, the other option is um, to use the link that is in the chat. I think Haley put the link in the chat there as well. So I'll give folks just a minute to get set up there on, on Menti. And then as you are uh, joining, we'd love to hear where you are joining from. All right. So lots of folks from uh, the states and then we've got Ontario and Dominica also represented. Wonderful. The other thing that we thought we'd do this morning just for kind of a quick warm up um, is we thought it would be fun to uh, create a community wordle. Uh, so in a word or two, we'd like you to share what open education means to you. Yeah, so access is a, is a pretty common theme, equity, knowledge sharing, I like that, flexibility, easy, no cost, great. All right, well, our new board was announced on uh, February 15th. And um, it is made up of six members who are new to the conference organizing team and who were elected to a, a two-year term, and then six members who have served on a committee for Open Ed 20 or 21. The six returning representatives were selected by the steering committee and will serve for one year. And this staggered term length model is intended to incorporate new voices and perspectives while still preserving institutional memory. And now I'm gonna let the other board members who are here uh, go ahead and introduce themselves. So we'll start with Stephanie. Hi, hi, I'm Stephanie Buck. I'm the Director of Open Educational Resources at Oregon State University. Well, folks, Brandon Carson, Learning Technology Specialist and part-time professor at Durham College and Ed D student at Ontario Tech University. Good morning, I'm Tanja Connerly. I'm a full-time professor of sociology at San Jacinto College in Houston, Texas. Hello, I'm Rachel Meisner. I am the Open Educational Resources Coordinator and a course designer for Pikes Peak Community College in Colorado. Life is good. I'm Robbie Melton, Tennessee State University Associate Vice president, as well as the graduate dean. Welcome. Hi, folks. I'm Amy Newsbaum, an assistant professor of psychology at Heritage University in Washington State. Hi, my name is Alita Partisodarso. I'm senior teaching uh, faculty at Ontario Tech in Ontario, Canada.
I think Susan already introduced herself and um, so I will go. I'm Samantha Streamer Veneruso. I'm a professor of English at Montgomery College in Maryland. I'm also the chair of general studies. And with that introduction, I will go ahead, self introduction, I'll go ahead and jump into a little bit of an update on our operations and, and how we're functioning as we move forward. Um, this is our first year of community led governance. Um, over the past two years, the conference was led by an inter interim organizing partnership between OpenStax, Spark, University of Maryland Kerwin Center, and the Colorado Department of Higher Education. This current board is the result of a strategic planning process that took place over the last two years to move the conference toward a fully community owned governance model. This is a wonderful step forward and we're working through the de details for how to be the best board we can be. We have a meeting weekly, weekly and grappling with the scope of the work. I personally am excited to work with this great group of people to support this amazing conference and we all look forward to your input throughout the process. Currently, we're still being supported by SPARC through the transition period. This conference and this work would not be possible without their support. In addition to seeking your feedback and your engagement throughout the year in our community calls, we are also looking for volunteers and we'll have other opportunities for community input as we go. Please do save the date, October 17th through October 20th, 2022. Um, for Open Ed 2022. It will be a virtual conference and we look forward to seeing you there. And I'm Thanks. gonna turn it over to uh, uh, Rachel and um, uh, Tanja to have some discussion. Awesome, before you two jump in, I just wanted to say a quick note. Hi everyone, this is Haley. I'm from the Spark team and I'm helping to support uh, the conference this year. Uh, I did just wanna note, we have a couple um, folks in the audience today who are past members of our steering committee. So I just wanted to say a quick hello uh, to Tiffany Tiarina, um, Jeff Gallant, some other amazing people who have been great volunteers, um, uh, countless others, Stacy, I see you. Um, just incredible people, too many to mention. So um, just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you um, for joining us today. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it on to uh, Tanja and Rachel. All right, everyone. So we're gonna get started with some discussion. So last year, the steering committee um, chose the, uh, Haley, can you move on to the next slide, please? Thank you, ma'am. And the next one chose the theme rise to action. Um, this, of course, is flexible. We're not set in stone with rise to action. But what we'd like to know from our participants is what does the theme rise to action mean to you? So if you want to go ahead and submit what that means to you, that would be great. So we have combating bias to implement action, move forward, more than just talk, answering the call to a challenge. We have some great input here. Tangible, indelible impact. Thank you so much, everyone. These are some great, um, some, or, this is great input for us. We're, we're so excited that um, rise to action means something different and kind of similar to each of you. So I think Tonja is going to ask you the next question. Thank you, Rachel. The next question is, are there other theme ideas that you have for Open Ed 22? Again, as Rachel said, we're, um, we are uh, looking for the rise to action as a thing, but your input and in, in reference to our community is very important. So can you please place your thoughts in reference to other things and we can discuss them? Helping others, helping others. Plus one. Another one, somebody really likes the rise to action. Convincing the lagging adopters, okay? Open with care. Supporting students, okay? 
All of these are great ideas. And most definitely as a community, we will continue to look for the best thing for our open conference in 2022. Shifting the paradigm, that's a great one. Now what, after starting OER? Open after the crisis. Good. Thank you all for your input. Rachel? <clears throat> All right, so building off of that, our next question is, what topics are you most looking forward to discussing at Open Ed 22? So what kind of topics would you like to see presented, discussed? Um, please feel free to submit as many as um, you'd like. So I see um, some here with data and reporting, data analysis, accessibility and UDL. Um, there are new accessibility guidelines being released this summer. So completely agree with that. Open platforms, diversity, advocacy, sustainability, equity, open platforms, lots of great ideas here. So we appreciate your input. If you think of anything else, um, this, presentation will be available for a couple days after we're done here. So please feel free to continue to add. Um, I think Tanja has the next question. Thank you, Rachel. Our next question asks, what else are you thinking about at this point in the planning process? So we just basically need to know from the community because this open ed is about sharing. So exactly what else are you thinking that we should uh, implement in this planning process? How do you get involved? That's gonna most definitely, we'll be asking for volunteers at the end of this um, community meeting today. How much work will take, how much work will this take? I think it's gonna take a community. So we need, we need everyone. Again, as Rachel said, this will be these um, information will be available to you after our presentation today. So please don't think that you know if you don't have an opportunity to answer now, there will be other times for you to answer. What else? What does sponsorship and funding look like in a community-driven open education conference? Uh, can volunteers get free registration? That is an excellent question. We will be answering all these questions. Um, let's see, looking forward to getting to know like-minded people, hybrid format, all of these are going to assist us so much in reference to planning our conference. subgroups, okay, all right, thank you. Thank you all for your comments. So this is Stephanie Buck and to wrap up, I just wanted to thank everyone for joining us today. It's been very valuable and lots of great information. Um, as mentioned earlier, we are going to be looking for volunteers. Now, we're still working to develop our committee structure, so we don't have exact details yet. But please feel free to express your interest in the volunteer role in the form that is linked in chat. And then our next meeting will be on April 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Haley, if you want to move the screen forward. Thank you. Uh, we'll be April 8th, um, like I said, and we hope that you all join us at that time. We'll have more conversations about the conference and about this, the whole process that we're going through here right now. And if you're so inclined, follow us on social media to learn more about the conference and keep, keep abreast of everything uh, that's happening in, in the conference.
Hey, well, thanks so much, everyone. I just wanted to say really quickly from the Spark team, um, just we're very excited to, you know, be able to support these amazing uh, individuals this year. Um, it's very early days of the planning process, so we will have more information for you to come, um, but very excited for you to get a chance to meet the new board. Um, let us know a little bit about what you're thinking uh, and sort of help us, um, you know, make our immediate decisions moving forward. So um, just thank you all for joining today. Uh, we know it was a little bit quick, um, but we have lots to decide and still sort of lots to work through. So thanks for bearing with us. Uh, and please do, you know, come to our next meetings where we'll be uh, diving into some uh, information more deeply. Um, like Stephanie mentioned, uh, if you're interested in being involved, please do take a moment to fill out that form um, and we'll be in touch. Uh, so thanks so much. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recording.